Dealing with employee bad behavior is really one of the most challenging aspects of being a leader. I mean, leaders are often heard saying, you know, if only my employees would just get along, my job would be so much easier. Yet it's rare that an organization provides leaders with the skills and tools that they really need to address incidents of bullying and incivility and some of the other badnesses that we see out there. And then when left to figure it out on their own, many leaders, without even realizing it, they actually make things worse. They have good intentions, but don't always make good decisions when addressing bad behavior. Hi, my name is Dr. Renee Thompson. I am the CEO and founder of the Healthy Workforce Institute. And for the last 10 years, I've been working with leaders to cultivate a professional, healthy, respectful workforce culture by first eradicating bad behavior. And over the years, I've identified five common critical mistakes that leaders make when dealing with disruptive behaviors. And I'm going to share one of them with you today. Okay. Mistake number one is that they address someone's bad behavior at a staff meeting. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have three employees who swipe in 15 to 20 minutes late every day. Everyone else arrives on time, um, but instead of confronting those late employees individually, you talk about it at a staff meeting. You talk about the importance that, you know what, everybody needs to show up on time. Yeah, why do you do that? Well, quite honestly, it's because it's easier on you, especially if you avoid confrontation. Something you may not realize is that all human beings are designed to avoid anything that causes us discomfort or pain. It's normal, okay, to want to avoid confrontation. And so it's easier for you to not address it with that individual person, but to then just say as a general, we all need to come to work on time. So I totally get it. Why this is a mistake is because when you do that, you lose credibility with the rest of your employees because everyone in the meeting who's coming into work on time knows that you're just talking about three people but you don't have the courage to confront them. It's a passive approach to addressing an issue. So what should you do? If you're having an issue with only one or just a few people in your department, you've got to pull each one aside and have an individual conversation with that person about whatever the behavior is. If it's something like coming into work, late every day, is there a reason that you're showing up every day 10 to 15 minutes late? Okay, it's not okay. You have to address it with the individual, not at a staff meeting. Now, if a lot of your employees are showing up late all the time or behaving in a certain way that's not professional, then you can address it at a staff meeting. But if it's only a few, please don't do that. Address it with the individual. All right, if you wanna find out what the other four mistakes are to see if you actually make them, just click on the link below and you can read the, the rest of the article and find out what those other mistakes are. As a reminder, when leaders are equipped to address disruptive behaviors, employees stay and your patients actually achieve better outcomes. And I just know that together we can totally make healthcare a better place. So be kind, take care and stay connected.